Data types in programming determine the types of values a variable can hold, which operations can be performed on it, and how much memory the variable occupies. There are two main typing systems in programming, static typing and dynamic typing. Static typing checks the type of a variable when the code is compiled. Statically typed languages pass the source code through a compiler, which translates the source code into machine code that can be executed by the CPU. Types are checked during the compilation phase, before the code is ever ran. Some popular statically typed languages include Java, C, Rust, and Go. Dynamic typing checks the type of a variable while the code is running. Dynamically typed languages like Python typically pass the source code through a program called the interpreter, which executes the source code line by line on a machine. Types are handled by the interpreter while it's executing on the machine. Some popular dynamically typed languages include Python, JavaScript, Ruby, and PHP. In statically typed languages, types must be declared, and in dynamically typed languages, types are inferred. This means we must declare the type of the variable in a statically typed language, while types are inferred by the interpreter based on the value in a dynamically typed language. A variable cannot be reassigned to a value with a different type in a statically typed language, while it can be reassigned in a dynamically typed language. This makes dynamically typed languages more flexible and statically typed languages safer. Let's take a look at an example. The top function is written in Python, a dynamically typed language, and the bottom function is written in Java, a statically typed language. The top function can be called with different data types as long as they implement the plus operation. The bottom function can only be called with integers. If we don't call the function with integers, we get a compilation error before the code is ever ran. We must fix this before the code is able to be executed. This is because we have to specify the types of our function parameters. This makes the dynamically typed language more flexible. But if we call the function with mixed types, we get a runtime error, which happens while the code is running. This is dangerous because we often don't know about bugs until the code is ran by the user. This makes the statically typed language safer since type errors happen at compilation time before the code is ever ran. Additionally, static typing leads to better performance, while dynamic typing is usually slower. This is because the compiler knows exactly how much memory to allocate to each variable before the code is executed. While in a dynamically typed language, the interpreter has to constantly check and reallocate memory for variables that change types as the code is executing. This leads to more overhead and slower execution. So which is better? As with most things in programming, it's a trade-off. Dynamic typing is better for prototyping and fast iteration while static typing is usually much more performant. Dynamic typing is more flexible, but static typing is much safer. Dynamically typed languages have a gentler learning curve, since we don't need to annotate each variable with its type, which can be confusing for beginners. These trade-offs make dynamically typed languages more popular for things like websites, data science, and AI, where fast iteration and prototyping is preferred. Statically typed languages are more popular for things like financial software, systems programming, and game development, where safety and performance is preferred. If you're a beginner, you should pick whichever language motivates you to learn. Thanks for watching. If you learned something, please consider following me on these other platforms.